A policy is kind of like a scope letting you group together DHCP setting. But in this case, they get grouped by a condition that you select. You could group by a vendor class, MAC address, or a few other options. For example, our network is using IP forms, and we want them all to be grouped together in an IP range. But it doesn't matter to them which phone gets which IP, so policy makes more sense than setting reservation for each phone. Before we go any further, we should specify a vendor class. So one option is to setting up a vendor class that we can use in our policy. So for setting up, you would right click on IPv4 and choose define vendor class. And then we'll click on add. You would then need to give it a name, a description, and either binary or ASCII value. There isn't an industry standard for this, so you'd have to check with your device manufacturer and figure out how they have their setup. You can certainly do that, but it's probably going to be easier to find out what MAC addresses they use for their devices and just use that for your policy. And that's what I'm going to do, so I'll cancel this and open up the scope I want this policy in. For example, this scope. And we'll right click on policy, we'll say no policy. That opens the policy configuration wizard. The first step is to give the policy a name. We'll say IP forms. Connect. So this screen is where I decide what kind of devices are going to go into this policy. So we'll click on add. And for criteria, instead of a vendor class, we'll select MAC address. And I'll go with equal. Though I could set it to not equal to have this policy set up for anything other than the MAC address range I'll be entering. And then I'll choose the value, which is 905E9. Also select the upon wildcard box, which will allow it to match anything that begins with what I enter which is the OUI or Organizationally Unique Identifier for the manufacturer of our IP forms. And here we'll say Add and OK. And we'll click on Next. And here we can start the IP address. Let's say, for example, from this IP address and to this IP address. Great. And Next. And here we can specify the time server. Even we can specify the second IP default gateway for our IP phones. Let's imagine that we have a specific router for IP phones. And again, here we can set the time server. Or NTP server. And we'll say next. And if you're happy with that, we'll click on finish. And here again, we can say properties. This is the list time. The condition actually, we can change the condition here. Which criteria that you want. An IP range and the options and the DNS. 